Hey, I'm Jocelyn and this is my good friend Sandra and it is Friday cocktail day. Instead of a normal cocktail today though, we're going to have some Madeira wine or um, Madeira. Madeira. As you say it in the States. Yes. So um, I used to live in Portugal and Madeira is an island that is part of um, Portugal. So I have a different experience with this than what you do, but Madeira actually has a very it's it's actually an important part of our like liquor wine history, history right. right right so um i'm gonna let you go ahead and talk about the history of it and then i'll talk about maybe some things that we've done more modern times right it's just brief history of uh, during the age of exploration uh, back when columbus and other people were sailing seven seas and discovering discovering the new world um, Madeira became wildly, wildly popular all over the world. It was extremely popular here in the United States, or I guess I should say the colonies um, in the 18th and into the 19th of century, or the 19th right. century primarily. Um, I believe Jefferson famously was in debt all the way to his wine merchant because of his, uh, <laughs> all his the problem, way debt, in debt? <laughs> his, his problem with um, his love for Madeira. So um, it's a great historic wine. It's got a sweetness to it. It's a fortified wine, which means it will never go bad. You can buy a bottle of this and it will last the rest of your life. You can pass it, it out because you're going to drink it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're foolish, you can pass it down. Um, but it, it doesn't turn into vinegar the way other uh, table wines would. So um, it, has a, it has a huge range of flavors. There are some that you can have as an aperitif. Um, this one is quite a bit sweeter, it's, mm -hmm. but it's not super sweet. I personally love this for dessert with a salty cheese Ooh, or a sharp salty cheddar. Yeah, I can see. so nice. Well, I love salty and sugary things together. Um, this is, there's a lot of berries in this one, I think, too, like, um, and, and you'll find it really, it, you don't have to be like a wine snob to appreciate the, the differences in Madeira because it is, it's very obvious to me, right? Right, absolutely. Um, and yeah. This is a fun one to start with. This is um, from the Rare Wine Company, and um, they make four different uh, versions of Madeira, and there's a Savannah, a Charleston, a Boston, and New York. And um, Savannah being the southernmost city, they were all important um, Madeira cities in the colonies. And the Savannah is the driest, it's a Verdella. And as you go up the four cities, you get to the sweeter, um, a little bit lighter bodied ones. Somebody said New York was sweet. <laughs> Hey, I think I, they went the wrong way. I, I love New York, so. <laughs> yeah, but it's not something I would describe as sweet. But dry, I would. So, anywho, that's that's my <laughs> personal opinion. Um, yes, I've been sipping on this as you've been talking because I love Madeira. One of my favorite uses for Madeira is um, as a sauce. Mm -hmm. There was this great little mom and pop Tashka, which is just like a, a mom and pop restaurant right across the street from our apartment in Lisbon. And I swear to you, I got completely addicted to this bife de Madeira, and it was just a really thin slice of steak. I don't even know what cut because it's not, they're not necessarily the same as what we have, but she made a Madeira wine sauce with mushrooms and a little bit of garlic, and it, she cooked it down so it's really thick and almost like a gravy, but wine. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. It was just so decadent. I swear to you, I ate at least one of those a week. And I gained about five pounds in the first two weeks that I lived. I think I ate more than one a week that first couple. That first month, I didn't cook much. I just ate at all the local restaurants. But Madeira is something that you'll find all over Portugal, too. I mean, it's but it's funny that I moved from Savannah, and I knew all this stuff about Madeira wine. And then I moved to Portugal, and I saw it from a different perspective. Um, but anyway, it's a wonderful, lovely drink, and it is, it's nice to have as an aperitivo or, you know, like you said, just have it after dinner as a dessert, so. Or just because. Or just because, yes. Well, cheers. Cheers, sister. Cheers. We'll see you next Friday for our next cocktail. Bye.